All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. Uh, as you can see here, I am back on my very first frame, Volt. It's been a while since I've pulled him out. Um, I haven't gone back through all the old frames that I haven't used in a while to reset their mods, uh, but I did pull out Volt and I reset him. He had some stuff that didn't really make sense. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of new mods since the last time I played him. So, kept on steel charge uh got a streamline uh intensify gladiator aegis equilibrium fast deflection narrow-minded and carnis carapace i just had a bonus few points so i threw that on there uh but checking through the bonuses um it really dropped the drain on his ability use and really bumped up the duration so um, I played around in uh, Sanctuary Onslaught, did a little run with some just MR fodder weaponry, and uh, I'm going to play another round in hopes that I can finish these off. I've got this Mark I Breton, a Mark I Ferris, and a Mark I Bow, all kind of uh, not great weaponry, uh, but they're close, and then we can dump them. Um, so... What I want to do is just do one quick Sanctuary Onslaught to see if I can get these ranked up, and then we're going to jump into some Railjack missions. Um, I've only done the first one over there, so I want to show some love to Railjack, and uh, we're also going to try some of the Infested, um, I think it's called the Syndicate, I forget. We're still on the hunt for that Aled V coordinate set. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, uh, jumping into Sanctuary Onslaught to start. And with any luck, we can run enough rounds that I can knock this out in one. Uh, regardless of how long it goes, I'm only going to show kind of the first play. I just want to get this off and see what other new gear we could pull in the background. Um, being that I'm not going to be grinding too much, we're going to be in a railjack. I'll probably get some modicum of XP from doing that. Um, so we'll just throw something else on new that needs some points. I did finish off the fang. Uh, that was the last uh, melee we were using. Give everybody a little speedy, speedy boost. Looks like maybe that's a citrine. I could be wrong. I'm just making an assumption here based on it looking a bit like a like a citrine crystal. Guys hiding back in the corner. How did we get to that? I'm not entirely certain, but it looks like there's guys down there. down through here to get at the guys I saw in that room. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we can't get to them. They're just uh, background decoration. <laughs> Pick up the pace a bit. I do like, uh, you know, kind of the overall range, the reach of the bow. Even this Mark I bow, I mean, it's for a Mark I weapon, it's not bad. Zap. Is 
Sit down, sunny boy. Where'd you go? Trying to hide from me. Who's down? That could have been unnecessary, but hey, hey. We'll go for it. You know, the speed boost the bolt affords you can take anything that's even not that great or just kind of mediocre and immediately make it better just because that immediate attack speed bump. <laughs> it's a very nice ability and getting the efficiency on them uh, boosted to where it doesn't drain as much. Really good call. It's a lot more fun to play this way. I had just a boatload of points and shields and health. And, you know, it's just like early. I didn't know squat about modding. I'm not claiming to be an expert by any stretch, as would be clear <laughs> by the evidence of uh, how I mod stuff. But I'm definitely getting better. And the difference from starting out to where I am now is pretty dramatic. Just, oh, okay. Plus, I have a lot more mods. You know, from which to choose a lot better ones. I certainly didn't have an equilibrium starting out. Well, that's pole arms. Data conduit. I think I'm going to hang back and I'm going to hope that all of my weapons are going to get kicked up. They're at 29. Hurry, Hunter. The conduit is closing fast. Guess there's several people just waiting. Hunter, the sanctuary will go on. Perfect. All right, that is three Mark One weapons maxed out. That is a beautiful thing. One quick run, not bad. Oh, they're already out. That's perfect. No problem. All right, so I think. Now, the only new melee I have left is the Lecta, maybe, that I haven't done. Lecta Zero. Yep, everything else that I own is worked up. So, we will pull out the Lecta. Uh, I grabbed Mark I Kunai. I had Kunai in the beginning, but I don't remember if they were Mark I or not. I just bought some stuff from the store because I sold some stuff before. Um... I don't really want to pull that out. You know, let's just leave one decent weapon on in the background. What about primaries? The Bratton. Was there anything else that I grabbed? The other Bratton. So that was the Mark I. And then we've got the normal one. I know that I used that gun before. I just don't remember if it was the Mark I or the other. So I'm going to pull that out as well. Um, so let's just look and see what these weapons are about. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm them. Slam attack, slide attack. It's not really built for crit, but it does have pretty decent status chance. And it has built-in electric. I knew that, of course. 
So let's just get our default pressure point that takes nine. Let's see if we have a stance for one of these. Looks like we do. Let's get that worked up. Oh. One, two, three for 140. No problem. We will take that. Gives us 11. Uh, we could pump more into electricity. It's got decent slash on it for a tier one weapon. Just take a quick peek here. We could bump that plus the status chance even higher. Yeah, that's probably going to be a good one to have on there. That leaves us three points, which really doesn't leave us much of anything. That's not a bad starting point for Lecta. I'm not going to worry about customizing the look of it. I'm just going to use it. Uh, same thing with this Bratton. Uh, let's pop on... Serration. And the best I can do is plus 30. Unless I just take another and bump it. That's fine. I mean, this is just going to get bumped up in the background. I'm really not that worried about it. It doesn't have a huge crit or status chance. And it's not particularly great for impact slash or puncture. Um, so, I mean, we've got five points left. So, I can't really do much else with this. Once we play with it once and get some levels, I can swap out uh, serration or throw some kind of base you know, damage over time mod on it. Uh, but we'll stick with that for now. So it's just stuff to throw in the background. We are going to go head over to, I think I can do it from the dojo, head straight into the railjack for some railjack missions. I think that's right. So let's just head to the dojo. Oh, wait, no, actually, I'm an idiot. I can do this from inside my orbiter. I can access railjack from here, right? Isn't it downstairs? I've seen it on the floor somewhere. Is it down here? That's it. Perfect. All Systems right. Check complete. Ready to launch. Railjack looking cool. We've done free flight. We've done silver straight. Now I guess we're going to skirmish at Iota Temple. Okay. What is the difference between this regular and the Void Storm? I don't know, but let's just go for it. Oh, this is a relic mission. I, mean, I guess I could try to focus on something. Harrow Prime Blueprint, really? I wish that you could see the foundry from here. So I had an idea of... Let's just throw that on. Sure. Why not? We could also go for Bratton Prime and also a Baruch. And there's a Nell. Ak Bronco Lex Prime. Let's just equip it. Sure. Let's say yes and see what happens. I don't know how expansive the Railjack missions are, if it's all just the small little area or not. Attention, void storm imminent. This will get a little bumpy. A missile battery is operating in this vicinity. A clear first step in Grenier efforts to control this sector. Neutralize it. Be careful. Fighters incoming. Keep them off the ship. Tenno, detecting void energy accumulation inside your objective. Fishers. Our objective's over here, but there's so many things up here trying to attack us.
try to point back towards the objective. Caution. Void sink detected aboard that vessel. You have a fire, but I don't know how to put it out. Use that reactant to open a relic. Keep fighting. Look for more reactant. Void storm intensifying. Ship secure. Everyone in one piece. Good. Crew. Void sink. Okay, I did put some engineering points on to help put out fires and repairs when it takes damage. stuff coming from behind us so this is the first time I've ever been piloting the ship I could be doing this horribly and this crew could be thinking what in the world is this guy doing I have no earthly clue what we're supposed to be doing here we're we supposed to be blasting this What are we supposed to do with this? Good luck. Repressurizing. I guess, are we supposed to break that? It doesn't seem like. That's not like doing anything towards. Exterior weak point exposed. Open fire. Hull breach. Venting atmo. Situation critical. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Breach sealed. Railjack integrity restored. Yeah, it looks like they're pointing us here. Yep, perfect. Incoming round sleds about to ring the doorbell. Expose the second radiator. Intruders on board. Fires. We broke them. Skies are clear of fighter cover. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. There it is. Blast that radiator. We have a breach. Oh, gosh. We're just moving so slowly. I can't get us pointed at the radiator any quicker than what we're going right now. And we failed. I'm so sorry, squad. I feel like I shouldn't be in charge of operating the ship because I haven't done these. And I don't want to fail it for others, so that's my fault. I guess what I'll do, I will, um, it'll eventually let me back out from here. And then maybe I can just wait until people jump in. And then I can join their squad and not be in charge of navigating. 
I feel really horrible because we had the relic cracked. But I'm not sure what's going on in these missions yet. So I'll exit. I'll leave the squad. I'm so sorry, guys. Legitimately. So we did collect reactant. So that's a positive. Let's try this again. I don't know if we'll have to gather reactant again. I wish I could get pulled into somebody else's match instead of having to try to figure all this out like solo and then one random person jumps in. Seems like maybe railjack missions aren't the most popular thing in the game. Which stinks. Because I don't know how you can solo this. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, leave the squad. I don't blame you. I'm not going to leave the dojo. I'm just going to give it a few minutes and then try to research and see if I get pulled into somebody else's game. I really don't want to be in charge of this. Stinks too, because I was picking up a lot of new mods and stuff, which obviously I can't do anything with now. I wonder what happens if you say solo. Let's just do a quick little test. Let's find out if this is even doable solo. Click on it again. I'm going to take that same one. Equip, yes. I'm going to see if this is even possible to solo. I mean, it's just so many enemies shooting at me at once. And I'm the only one operating a gun because <laughs> it's just me. This is just a test. I'm not actually expecting to be able to get through this. Indeed, the Railjack's already taken way too much damage here. Okay, so the hole is breached, so what do I do now? How do I fix it? see the breach but I don't know what to do to fix it yeah I have no clue this is not going to be doable. I'm sure of it. Yep. That's what I thought would happen. Okay. So soloing it is not realistic. Okay. That's fine. I get it. Oh, come on. Now, see, it's not enough people in here. This is not, this is not possible without additional gunners. I mean... One guy was outside doing a great job, and I think I only got a third at the very end. Maybe I'm just hoping against hope that I'll be able to do any of these missions. This is really unfortunate. I would love to do a railjack because it's really fun, but this is just really bad without a squad. Maybe I've got some additional... Um, some additional mods I could try to slot on at the dojo. Maybe I will just back out to the dojo and we'll see what happens. That's like the third attempt in a row, guys. So it's a little bit of a trial and error, trial by fire. It's seeming to be uh, not wanting to back me out to let me interact with or do anything else. I don't know if my game froze or crashed or if it's just being wonky. Okay. This one will have to be upgraded 320 960 let's just apply that that leaves a couple points left Truly operate. 
character you possess. I need better weapon system upgrades. Turret damage when shields are above 75%. I mean, that would be useful, but I don't know how often. <laughs> Speed boost. I guess I could move some of that. I mean, that doesn't seem as important as outright damage. So maybe I should just head to the dojo and then I'll see if I can get some upgrades crafting because I know you can craft some stuff because I looked at it when I first was doing the Railjack customization. So let's just head here. We'll head outside and we'll run up to the Railjack kind of modifier place and see what we see. I'll have to find it again. Research. Blueprint can be fabricated. I wonder what parts you need for this stuff. That's Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. Rapid fire auto cannon. High velocity, puncture and shredding the armor of enemy ships. See, the problem with this is I'm pretty sure you can only get titanium from railjack missions. So what about a Mark 1? That's a basic. That's a Mark 1. So is that stronger? I have no idea. I guess we'll go for the basic insufficient funds. Oh, because I don't have the titanium for it. Okay, what about this? Titanium? All of this is going to take titanium? Not all of it. There's got to be something useful that I could actually make. Maybe there's not. Maybe my dreams of space pirating aren't going to be realized. Pulsar, nope. Sigma engines, nope. All of this takes. What about plating? Ah, titanium. I mean, I'm, I've got a little bit of some of this other stuff. Sigma like reactor, shield array. I mean, it just all takes stuff that I don't have. I wonder if I can just, you know what? Let's just hop back to the railjack. Let's enter it. Can I enter it from here? Yeah, it's down here, right? It's the entrance, the door. Let's board. Maybe there's a way that you can pick stuff up in free room and I'll just have to slowly grind for it. I'm I'm honestly not sure, guys. I, I'm at a loss here and it's very disappointing that I can't jump into any of this realistically. I would very much like to play some of this. Free flight. I mean, I know what that is. I've already done the Silver Strait. There's two open squads there. No open squads there. I guess, you know what? Let's just pop on this over straight. And I'll see if it throws me into an existing squad. And then maybe I can get some more of these parts that I need. That way. Okay. Where's the next gun? Yeah, this guy's railjack is uh, definitely a lot stronger than mine. That's okay. I'm a brand new rail <laughs> railjack user. Over time. Failed. Yeah, that's a shame. These seem like these are way harder than... I mean, maybe I just got lucky the very first time I jumped in. Because I wasn't piloting that time and it was still a mission fail. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. 
I mean, I guess the only positive is I'm getting some rank, you know, some affinity progress on these two, you know, silly weapons I have here. Guess I'll leave the squad. I guess I'll try this again and see if it throws me in with an existing group and I can man a gun and help them get through it. Maybe this does function a little bit differently. In that you're supposed to kind of farm the first mission a few times. Tenno, disembarking. doesn't seem to have the range we just need the pilot to move it up just a tick well the pilot doesn't seem to be uh, piloting the ship so I guess I could say exit Okay, well it seems like everything's destroyed, so now we just need the pilot to move us up, right? I don't know how to get uh, back in the railjack. I'm assuming this is the railjack. What do we do now? Or is this the railjack? So how does this work? How do we get back in the railjack? That says Steve. I don't think that's the railjack. Skirmish complete. Okay. What does that mean? How do we get back in here? Oh, just walk up and hit X in one of the portholes. Okay. It's actually pretty straightforward. I'm not sure if that completes the mission or not. I guess it does. Okay. Mullstones, comms, got some new mods, some asteroid diodes, and a little bit of titanium. Perfect. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, guys. Okay, so this may be the strategy I employ. Farm this first mission until I can get some upgrades for my main railjack myself. And then uh, we'll just take it from there. So I'll leave the squad. I'll pop back over to the... Nav. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I at least figured out what it is that I need to do, guys. So this is another thing I'm going to do in the background. This is going to be part of my daily rotation uh, to work up my railjack. But at least I finally got some parts. Um, we'll just need a lot more of them. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do, I guess since I have some more new equipment. Um, you know, it was fun pulling Volt back out. I think I'll stick with Volt, uh, but what I want to try, actually it doesn't make sense to keep 
this garbage weaponry. Let me at least pull out. I can get upgrades on this as I'm doing my dailies. I'm going to pull out the Broken War. And I'm going to pull out the Exceltra. We're going to leave those. I'll leave the Epitaph on. That's fine. Actually, I'm not going to use the secondary that much. Do I have anything that I could throw in here? Mark 1 Kunai. There we go. That's perfect. Just going to do a quick upgrade on this. Uh, where is pressure point? Pressure point. Wait, no. Sorry. This would be Hornet Strike. Uh, yep. Is there anything else worth putting on that's this? It's basically a puncture weapon. Four points. Nah, I'll leave it. Actually, maybe I could get Pestilence on this. Let me look at this again. That takes seven. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're going to roll that in the background. I am going to hop in and double check again the Alad Viki so I can remember the exact name of the thing I was looking for. I guess I'll have to do it from here. So much Venus. Fun with you, little mate. Okay. Ooh, what shall we play next? Let's just pull that. Sure. And I'm going to hope that this is what I'm trying to do. I think it is, and you'll just have to play three in a row. All purpose threats. These corpus remind me of the Oregon. Selfish, greedy. Void fishers. You need them to open Alec, but are you confident you can withstand their fury? A fisher, defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. That they are. They're dropping reactant. Sure. Use it to crack open a relic. Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. Keep moving. None of the scanners have detected this way? you. Okay. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Everybody's on. Beautiful. Love when you pop in a squad that's, uh, you know... Not just going to take the elevator solo or anything. Perfect. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. That was so fast. Broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. I think that's a Goss. Can he be even faster with, uh, Volt speed boost on top of him. Hmm. I don't know what these are. I'm going to go with Hildren Prime. I don't know who Hildren is. That's a lot of Prime options to have dropped. That was actually awesome. And a little oxium and some good void traces out of that. Not bad. Yeah, I really need to show a lot more love to the relics than I have been. I know it. I would like to get my first piece of prime gear, which I don't have. I have bits and pieces of stuff, but I truly need to target farm it. Yeah. Okay, it's common, uncommon, rare, so I don't even have to go too crazy. Let's just say go to exceptional. For 25? I'll say yes. And I'll do it to a second one. No, because that might be a waste if it actually does drop. We'll just plan to do it one at a time. Ah, no such luck. Cobra and Crane, Forma, a Boar, a Fulman Prime. That's also Prime. Mastery 14? I'll take it. I'll eventually be at Master Rank 14, and that would be awesome. Okay, well, no Hildren, but we got some traces back. So we can upgrade our other G10. 
and with any luck, Hildren will pop into the rotation on the next run. We're just going to run this one three times in a row. Ah, well, the same one. I guess this time I'll go for a Lex Prime receiver. I feel like I've got some Lex parts. Still a fruitful run. Not getting those nav coordinates. I guess it's a pretty low chance of that to drop from doing these things. Unless it's just not counting because I was doing the Fisher version. I'm, I'm not exactly sure entirely. Continue fighting. I'm going to vote the back out after I pick my thing since I'm doing this one at a time. Valkyr Prime? Saren Prime? Fang Prime? Let's go Valkyr Prime. I, I honestly can't even imagine what that must be like. Yep. I agree. Awesome! Awesome! A Valkyr Prime part? I mean, the regular Valkyr is already excruciatingly strong. I can't even imagine what the Prime version must look like. That was great. Okay, guys, so um, I've been recording for quite a while, and I'm going to do some editing out during my trial and error on the Railjack, uh, but I was trying to keep this another video that's under an hour while just having fun pulling out an old frame and respecking it. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of things going in the background, guys. Um, I've still got to be focusing on my Requiem relics and cracking those fissures to try to get more of those mods. I think I've got about half so I'm going to be focusing down on that as well because I really would like to try to take down that Kuvalich. Um, there's a few frame and weapon possibilities I could consider. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on the docket. There's a lot of things that I need to be focusing on in the background for just kind of my base background grind um, out of recording sessions. But yeah. That's uh, really what we're focusing down. We're, we're going to be drilling into the Kuvalich heavily. We're going to focus on our dailies. And when the new events pop up, I'm going to publish those immediately on my playthroughs. Though, for the sake of just showing you what's active while I'm recording this, it's the Ghoul Purge. And I don't see that there is a loot drop pool. Maybe there is something you get for doing it, but since I can't actively see what it is, uh, I'm not going to mess with it, and I understand that's one that comes up in rotation all the time. So that's uh, going to be today, guys. Uh, pulled Volt back out. Super fun. Um, I have a clear idea now of how I want to approach Railjack and upgrades and farming for mats, and it's going to be a slow process over time until you can step up to another slightly more difficult mission. Hopefully get some people that join in there with you. And, of course, cracking relics to target farm primes. Uh, I really want to get my first piece of prime gear. It's probably going to require some material farming somewhere. Uh, but that's what I'm doing. I still have a lot on the docket, and we are still going to be also doing one new weekly story mission, uh, be it Warframe or Side or the main story. I've still got a big old pile of those to catch up. Uh, but yeah, guys, hopefully that wasn't uh, too painful a video to watch. I had a lot of fun playing it. I know, you know, kind of running through a lot of similar things over and over. Maybe not the most enjoyable, but I'm still tweaking and learning new things and making slow, steady progress. And I am getting pushed and pulled in a lot of different directions, but I'm doing work in the background uh, to try to keep uh, what I'm actually keeping in the videos themselves at least quasi entertaining and cohesive without jumping all over the place. Regardless, guys, that's the plan moving forward. And as always, I do appreciate you checking in. We will catch you on the next one.